be proud about it, man. What is this? What? Wait, what race is this? Okay, wait. Uh, <laughs> this is Evil Sam. John. This is Eric. This is Donald Poole. This is Spencer. From, from, from Ireland. Canada. From the Here in Canada, eh? Good old USA. This is the whole room water cooling project. From Minus Detectives. This is crazy. Why not just use air conditioning? Day four. Day four. This was not supposed to take four days. <laughs> so what's the plan? Okay, the plan is to get these fittings to stop leaking first. So I have come armed with the Uber wrench, which is kind of like the Uber wrench, but wrench. Um, this one is almost big enough for this. But not quite. But that's okay because I have an even uber -er wrench. We'll have a plumber's crack. Okay. These are not gonna leak this time. Yeah. Gordon Freeman should have carried one of these. It's a lot heavier than a crowbar. Ah, vice grip. Yeah. The compression. Yeah, I'm doing it the right way. So we're doing a bit of a longer tubing run this time so that we can make sure that the pump is nice and below the reservoir. Isn't there like a better way to see if it pumps? Uh, yeah, you can have a flow here. We don't have one more than thing There we go. In theory, in theory it should work. Let's fill this bad boy. Okay, head stop! That's not leaking, which is a good sign. So at this point we're testing the loop to find out if this whole thing is actually even working and even though it would have been wiser to do this before we hooked everything up to the whole room, I'm actually testing to make sure that each of the individual systems is not leaking. So checking fittings, checking blocks, everything looks to be okay, but if a leak were to be sprung at this point, it would be pretty crummy. With the systems powered on, it looked like everything was working fine. CPU temperatures looked normal. I could see water within the blocks, but then temperatures started to creep up on some of the PCs and not others. And then they would go up, 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 and then they'd settle right back down to what looks like a normal water-cooled idle temperature. So not having a whole lot of time to figure out what the problem was, I had to do a little bit of running around diagnosing what exactly is going on with these CPU temps. So the issue ended up being that some of the systems were getting some water flow and others weren't due to air bubbles being stuck in some of the pipes and not others and essentially, well, our pump not having not head pressure because we were actually getting reasonable flow out of the system once we got the whole thing filled but not a high enough flow rate in order to get the water moving fast enough in order to force the bubbles down the downside of their tubes through the systems and then back up the other side into our reservoir. Okay, CPU temps are 28 degrees. Not rising. Oh, that pump just grabbed. You can hear all the air bubbles going. Okay. Which means the pump just grabbed. Uh, when it's got air bubbles stuck in it, it spins, but not very, it doesn't really pump water effectively. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, the whole thing will quiet down once the air bleeds out of the loop. Here we go. Okay, let's get some loop drive, shall we? Alright, you know where they are? Ah, <laughs> uh, probably in our old systems. Yeah, I took them. You took them out. You took them out and gave them to Luke. That is what right you here. did. Are they now? Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Let's do this. This is Linus because it says L. Like it no. What is problem? Because the first time we bled the loop on every one of these, mm -hmm. we connected them. So right now, it's going to be really hard to bleed the system because these ones that we're not using have no water flow. We just connect, right? Yeah, we have to drain this bad boy. God damn it. Okay. Okay, it's not so bad. We just have to do... What? One, two, three, right? Okay. Okay. Did I get third one working or did we get on that? Um, you might as well fire up Paragon if you want. You might as well get your system phone so you're ready to go when the time comes. Okay, that one had a bit more on it. I wish we'd planned for a more graceful way to do that. <laughs> Can I have that rag? Back at her. Yep. So what we have to do is... What do we have to do? Just put the opposite ends on that? Yeah. Compression fittings from... Yeah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Compression fittings onto here, connected to the pipe. So what do you do now? Do you put the compression fitting on before you attach it to the wall? Yeah. I'll try that. And use that thing. Which one? This thing. Oh. Uh, what I do to get this thing close yeah. to that, just yank. Like on the tubing? So oh yeah, I guess that could work. Yeah. I want this pump as low as it can be. And then I want this res tilted a little bit. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> All right, hit it! For the third time. They're not enough to... Something needs to push the air through this. And that's supposed to be that one. But that one needs a lot more head pressure in order to make that happen. So you can see that this is getting... Even without all the other systems connected, it's getting like no flow at all. What's different now? Uh, we're not really getting any. Oh, it's going back up. Yeah, we're not really getting any appreciable flow in here though. That is kind of bizarre. Do we have blockage? No. Temps now? 
flowing now. So wait, the big tube's empty now? Yeah. That's terrific! Let's see. Uh, yeah, but we get a purple end show too. You don't want the uh, the, epi the, uh, the show where you're the first first time you're on to be terrible, right? Uh, I can come up with opinions on the spot. Um, but I don't know that that's ideal. That's what I do, anyways. Makes makes. Talk about that See all that? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> ah, making the bubbles my bitch. <laughs> Another one your way. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> Got too enthusiastic about my bubble slaying. And with the bubbles out, the pumps can help us. But with the bubbles in there, they can't do anything. Alrighty then. Zero cares given. Running. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> right. The Cooler Master Neptune 240M features an exclusive pump design and their new Silencio fans to provide impressive near silent performance. Click now to learn more. Again, wow, is there even room for that power supply? Should be. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, these cables are intercompatible, so we actually only have to swap out the power supply. So that's it for the summer portion of this project. We actually did not finish it at all. We got distracted with a bunch of other things. I mean, it's finished in that it works some parts of it, but we're gonna have at least one more update here with the finishing touches as well as the final results. Stay tuned for that.